uh, as researchers or as scholars, when we try to uh, design and apply different uh, kinds of research projects uh, to have helpful outcomes from our research, we have to know uh, different uh, types of measurements or different types of uh, skills. Actually, there are uh, uh, different uh, types of measurements and skills, and uh, there are four main uh, different types and uh, skills when we uh, try to categorize and analyze our data, uh, uh, for, uh, which we collect from our uh, research projects and analyze based on our research uh, questions and research goals. That's why when we know exactly the different aspects and different types of uh, measurements and skills and also uh, the assessments of uh, the use of uh, different uh, the research methods and tools for different uh, measurements and skills, uh, we use uh, the data analysis procedure correctly and we come with a, a correct and useful uh, results. But if, if we uh, do, do not uh, do know uh, the exact aspects and uh, meaning of uh, different uh, measurements and skills and use wrong uh, uh, assessment or wrong uh, tools and uh, uh, measurements for different uh, parts of our data, uh, of course we come with uh, wrong uh, income and results. That's why we have to know uh, the different types of measurements or skills. And the first uh, the type of skill or measurements is uh, nominal. When we uh, uh, use the nominal uh, type of measurement or skill, we know from his name that the, the nom nominal skill or measurement deals with names and categories, actually categories uh, without the consideration of the ranking system. Uh, when we uh, talk about nominal, nominal uh, indicates the lowest level of measurement with a very basic information providing with, uh, uh, with providing a very basic information. And nominal just uh, deals with names and categories when we uh, talk about uh, gender, about uh, religion or about colors, we use the nominal uh, kind of or type of measurement. When we talk about uh, gender or uh, re different religions or uh, colors, no need to have the ranks, uh, or uh, we no need to find the mean uh, score or anything, because when we talk about uh, the nominal uh, aspect of uh, uh, measurement, just we use a very basic uh, information. When we need to find the very basic information, that's why. Uh, nominal measurement provides uh, the lowest level of uh, information. Uh, the second type is uh, ordinal. Actually, ordinal is a little uh, provides uh, a little more information than nominal. Uh, ordinal also uh, deals with uh, names, categories, but in nominal and uh, in ordinal, uh, the ranks is important uh, when we talk like uh, military ranking, like. Uh, ranking in uh, some particular working uh, structures or in the class or these things. Uh, ordinal also uh, deals with names, categories, but with the consideration of ranks. Uh, and uh, when we talk about uh, military ranks or uh, ranks in the class, like uh, the first number, second number, or such kind of numbers and ranks, uh, and ranks we use ordinal. In ordinal also uh, uh, provides a low level of uh, information but uh, and uh, measurement but a little more from uh, nominal. The third is interval. Uh, interval uh, deals with uh, uh, some more information actually. Uh, uh, it deals with uh, different aspects of uh, analysis and information but uh, uh, the interval actually uh, mostly focus on uh, different uh, time intervals or measurement intervals in different aspects, but without uh, exact uh, zero. When we assess things in detail by the use of uh, interval measurements, uh, it means that we cannot consider the exact zero. Uh, if we, for example, if we assess uh, temperature, uh, centigrade or Fahrenheit or such kind of thing, if we say 
zero degree of centigrade, it means that there is uh, uh, something, even we have a smaller degrees from zero. That's why when we use um, uh, interval, we don't have exact zero here. And the fourth type of uh, uh, measurement of a skill is the ratio. Uh, ratio actually provides uh, more information in the highest uh, level of measurement and information. Uh, uh, ratio includes uh, the uh, opportunities and measurement abilities of all three other uh, measurements, but with exact zero. It means that we can uh, measure all kinds of data uh, and uh, ratios through the use of uh, ratio me measurement or a skill, and it includes uh, exact zero. Uh, actually, when we say uh, there is, uh, here is a zero number of uh, participants, this means that there is no any participant. When we have uh, uh, the person has a zero amount of money, it means that he has no any money. Uh, but in interval, if we say zero degree of centigrade, it means that there is something even though smaller from the zero. That's why uh, when we try to um, assist, when we try to collect, uh, summarize, categorize, and assist, and analyze our data, our research data, we have to know uh, the four main different uh, measurement types or skills and use the mentioned measurements and skills correctly because when we use, uh, when we use some uh, assessments or analysis like uh, 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 mean or uh, finding mean or some things for a nominal or some uh, analysis for uh, ordinal which is not required or we put the data incorrectly when we analyze data through the use of a species or, or, or in any other uh, software we put the data under uh, wrong measurement or skill, we make them with the wrong in, uh, outcome or result. That's why it's very important to know uh, such different measurements and skills and use and apply them correctly. I'm Dr. Abdul Qahar Sarwari. If you think uh, such uh, information is so helpful, please subscribe the uh, channel. Thank you.